Carnales de Telegir nos encontramos en un especial de lujo aquí en los Estados Unidos, desde Miami, Florida, una gran banda que tiene un excelente nuevo material discográfico. Estamos hablando de, de Interpol. Tenemos la oportunidad de platicar con Carlos, con Paul. Thank you very much for your time in this interview. So, so the first question, what could it be like uh, the, the most uh, important personal meaning about this album for each of you? Um, the most important personal meaning of this record? Yeah. I don't know, I think it's funny because <clears throat> I had the, the erroneous belief for the second record and the third record that, that it would be easier. Um, you know, I went into this one saying like, oh, well, we've made two albums. I know, I know how it goes now. I'm gonna, you know, uh. it's gonna be a smooth process. And I had the same thought with Antics. And, you know, they were both more difficult, you know, as they went forward. Uh, this was the most difficult record, and Antics was more difficult than Bright Lights. So I kind of realized that, you know, you might have more experience making albums, but your expectations of yourself go up each time you do it as well. So you don't want to repeat yourself in the studio, so it just gets harder. It doesn't get easier. <laughs> that's the process, or that's the, the path it's taken up till now. Um, so it was a very difficult record to make, um, just because of that sort of, like, self you know, the, the, the pressure that I put on myself to improve and to make it great. And I think for all of us, you know, we, we, we put a lot of energy into this album. So for me, I think personally, it's just, it was great when we finished it because I, I had like the strongest sense of pride after completing this album that I've had on, on, on any of our records. Yeah. Uh, and I think it has to do with just sort of, you know, putting so much into it that when it was finally done, really believing that like that's everything that, you know, that I had to say and I believe that we had to say with this record, we really did accomplish it. So I mean in that sense that I guess as far as learning how to make records, I think we probably all did learn how to get everything that we want on the album, you know, and, and in the compositions to express yeah. ourselves like that much more and that much more thoroughly, I guess, or, you know, in a f much more fulfilling way. But uh, it was, it was difficult. So I, I guess it's really just the pride that we, that we made it that is the greatest personal feeling. Cool. And what about you, Carlos? Um, it was a good. Per it was a pretty. It was a milestone. I guess you could say every mi every record is a milestone. Um, this one was a little bit different for me than the others because, um, you know, I had made some pretty dramatic personal changes in my life right before, and uh, very positive changes, and kind of really affected my creative sort of workflow. I guess you could say. So yeah. there were like new ideas that were kind of coming to my brain that probably wouldn't have had the opportunity to uh, percolate, as it were, yeah. for the previous two records. One of them being chiefly the, uh, the uh, greater presence of keyboards, for instance. Yeah. So that was a huge discovery for me. Um, and yeah. And, and talking about, I mean, you were talking about the creating process, but h how hard was that time when you were like, okay, let's start working on new material? That part isn't very hard. Because you need it, like because you were no, playing. Well, it's so just many a matter songs. of scheduling the rehearsal, and then you just show up, and there's usually a wealth of material to get us started. We always have our hands full. So, and then if we reach a writer's block with one of the songs, then we we shelve it for a couple of days and work on something else that's there. There's always yeah. something to work on. So, and, and and what could it be like the hardest song to finish, the one that you just finished and you were like, oh yeah, man, we just done. Wasn't who do you think? Well, there's almost, especially on this album, there's like kind of two phases because the lyrics usually come last. Um, oh, really? Okay. Well, it's sort of hard to write lyrics to a song that's not written musically. Yeah. Um, and it's kind of hard to have the lyrics be the direction of a song when you have four people composing the music. You know, if it's a singer-songwriter, the, the vocal could, could direct the progression of the, the music. Yeah. But when you're composing, I can't really you know, freestyle vocally because what is anybody else going to play? They don't know what I'm going to do. So we, we have to structure the songs musically first. So there's two phases of difficulty. There's the one where we all have to agree on, on what the structure is musically without mm -hmm. vocals. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's, you know, whatever I might solidify as the vocals that can sometimes give me a hiccup too. So 
he mentioned who do you think that was you know the most difficult in the in the vocal sense of things and actually probably musically that was a very very tricky song because it's such a very unconventional structure for a rock song you know hopefully you don't hear that when you listen to it but <laughs> if you break it down to the you know to, to the structure it's a, just a very odd song too it was a pretty ambitious it's a pretty conceptual piece that would you know try to pass off as a straight rock song but it's pretty conceptual um, so yeah, that was that's a good example. Another one um, that was I think paces the trick was was very difficult for us on on both ends as well. You know, it was uh, took a long time. Again, it's never because like songs aren't working. It's just because they're not really themselves yet. Yeah. You know, like we could we could have one of those songs. We could have just said okay, it's done now. Like months and months before we really finished it. But there's always you know if if one of us is being nagged that like somehow it's not quite what it should be. Or you know, one of us has to rewrite our part, or we just don't quite believe that the flow is happening correctly with a piece. Then we just keep doing it until it's right. And as Carl said, we'll shelve something and move on to, to another song. So songs like "Paces the Trick" and "Who Do You Think" had to go through that process a lot. You know, where we'd, we'd work at it and then kind of say like, you know, it sounds really good, but it's not it's not it yet. So let's just take a break. But it's great that it's kind of like a democracy when you when you decide uh, I mean you were talking about how do you decide to finish a song and it's like a democracy everybody have their own opinion shrug off anything musically none of us can just be like well I don't like it but that's okay so the democracy exists because we wouldn't be able to survive in any other form because none of us can handle being unsatisfied now uh, another change Sorry, that I got interference so I'm going to put it directly. But do we Let's keep it. Okay, I'm recording. Okay. Uh, now, another thing that you change with this album is that you recorded in New York City, right? How hard is to focus if you have the time to go to your house after, re after recording a song? It, it, it's harder or it's easier to focus on the album? <laughs> for, me, for me, it was, I mean, there would have been no way that we could have recorded this third record um, in the manner that we did the first two, which is to go away and sort of... In a housing where Connecticut... Sure, uh, but it, for me at least it wasn't even where it was, it was the fact that it wasn't in New York City. For me, you know, I needed that time still to, you know, make myself feel like a normal human being, like I live in the same place and I live in New York City and this is my home and so on and so forth. So in that sense, it actually afforded me a great deal uh, of um, um, space to focus and be creative on the record um, because I actually could separate it from my normal life. Yeah. And that just made me feel just a lot more relaxed about it. 